compressed air heats up, comes out of this three quarter inch ball valve here through the hydraulic hose and into the copper air drying system. Hot air goes up, comes back down through each of those copper tubes, makes its way to the end, exits through this second hydraulic hose and into the regulator. And then it makes its way through this green flexilla hose. Uh, this is a whip hose. And I have this going into this galvanized pipe where I have two air outlets, uh, the quick disconnect type. I really don't have a use for more than one at the moment, but as you can see on the bottom there, I have a uh, threaded cap on the bottom so I can add more uh, pipe and outlets if I needed to. So that air comes out of there, goes into the hose reel. And now I'm going to walk you through everything that you need and everything that you need to do to assemble this air dryer system yourself. I'm going to show you how to make this air dryer system out of copper. I made this diagram here. I'm just going to go over a couple measurements so you have an idea. Uh, while I'm standing here, I have everything written down. So let's start at the bottom. These uh, highlighted in yellow are half inch ball valves. I'll put a picture in here to show you up close. Half inch ball valves, there's four of them on the bottom. This piece here, each of these four pieces is half inch copper tubing that goes into the bottom of these four three quarter by three quarter by half inch copper reducer uh, tees. I'll put a picture of that as well. All the purple is three quarter inch copper tubing. So you need one, two, three, four, five, six sticks of three quarter inch. Each stick is 83 inches long. And on top of that, you're gonna need six four inch pieces. Of three quarter inch copper tubing, small pieces to make up the gaps. You're gonna need nine three quarter by three quarter inch 90 degree elbows. I marked those in red. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Are those 90 degree elbows? There's two. Uh, bushings you need three quarter by three quarter inch. Those are with the blue circle. There's one there and one here. So one end you solder on and the other end is threaded. And that's this part right here. You solder this end on bushing. This one threads into your hydraulic hose. Same thing over here on the outgoing. Solder right in here. And then you got the threaded end right there. This coupling here was the mistake that I made. Um, all you need here is a straight piece of pipe. You're gonna need about 12 of these uh, copper three quarter inch brackets. Just if you wanna mount it to the wall or two by fours like I got. Uh, coming out of the compressor is just a three quarter inch ball valve. Thread in this side, thread in this side with a piece of galvanized pipe. And it's three quarter also.
Thanks for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe if you like this kind of stuff. I have a lot more content coming out. I'm going to show you how I wired this generator to a transfer switch to power a home. I'm also going to give you the rundown on how I made this enclosure for the generator.